this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum along with Own It by Drake. And we're going to start out on a C major chord, and the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, the second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum on the A string the high E string, that'll get your clearest sound, and it's called C major, although we're going to end up capoing this on the third fret to kind of match the recording. And then from the C major, we're going to go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes to the G string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the high E on the second fret. And then third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string and the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the D, we're going to be going back to kind of our C for a real quick hit. And then we go to an E minor chord. Let me play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to get going back to D major, and then doing another D major. It's basically going to be our verse form through the, the entire song. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, and I know a lot of it is keyboard hits, so you may just want to kind of try and follow the chords with just kind of down strokes to kind of match the recording. Um, but a lot of times I like adding something called a strum pattern, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you take the C and just try that a lot. You'd have down, down, up. about applying that to our, our verse chorus though is on the C chord or the second C chord we get to we'd almost kind of half the, the C and the E minor and we could do that with kind of a down down on the C and then a up up down on the E minor so on that one spot you'll have C with a down down E minor up up down I'm not putting a lot of rhythm that's not really in the recording at the beginning there but I think that could work really well so we tried our strum pattern through through the, you know, the uh, our verse chorus we'd have C down up up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, up. And something else I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. A lot of times on that first down, of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass for the chord and then kind of keep it going with your down, up, up, down, up. C with, it has an A bass. On the D chord, you'd have the D string for your bass. And on the E minor, you'd have the low E string for your bass. So we tried going through the progression with, with kind of a bass down, up, up, down. Up. We'd have C with the bass, down, up, up, down. C with the A bass, down, up, up, down. D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. C with an A bass, down, up, up, down. D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. Strum pattern I think about using through the song though is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the C and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down, Part is we'd feel like going kind of one big one, our, our whole strum pattern on C, whole strum pattern on the D, and then when we get to the C minor change, you could do a down on the C and then take the E minor for the down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And we had our D with our whole strum pattern. So we tried it that way, we'd have C, down, down, up.
Now the weird part is to play along with Drake, instead of starting on a C chord, it's actually starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, you want to take a capo, and if you put it on, on third fret, then now your C major is really an E flat major, your D major is really an F major, and your E minor is really a G minor chord. Now you could just kind of try and follow just that progression with just the downs, actually, just kind of that, that down D, so you might want to even kind of intro the tune that way. Or we could do our down, down, up, up, down, up, and we have C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D 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 down, down, up, down, But that's the basis of how you can strum through Own It by Drake. So good luck!